We are only here for five more days and we've been going through all of our collective stuff and packing everything up to get it in the car to drive to Colorado. <laughs> I forgot to say that we just got to Omaha, Nebraska last night. There have been a few things that we have been able to declutter and we're gonna go and donate them now. Very few things, just a couple of things that we just don't need to bring with us, like a few books that we both have read that we're not gonna read again. So we're gonna go and donate those so they don't have to come with us. So it's an exciting step because it feels like the next step in actually moving our lives <laughs> to Denver. I'm so excited to go to Colorado, but I will miss being here. Today's the day. Saying goodbye to this place in the woods was bittersweet, but the past two years have been building up to this point. The point at which we were supposed to start our new lives together. Somewhere different that would push us, push us out of our comfort zones and challenge us to our very core. There is so much time that we've spent apart over the past eight years that we'll just never get back. So we're heading into this new chapter with an energy for exploration and adventuring and continuous learning. One of the main reasons why we decided to move to Denver was because of its proximity to nature. We wanted to have every reason to get outside every single day and really push ourselves. It feels like an incredibly exciting time to push the boundaries of sustainability, of personal growth, and just meeting new and wonderful people. Oh wow, this place is huge. I forgot to say that we just got to Omaha, Nebraska last night. We drove for 12 and a half hours, so we've got about seven and a half left today, and we are just leaving. It's like 7.30 a.m. We are so ready to get to Colorado. We've also been listening to The Shining, and that's like the singular thing that has got us through this journey. It's pretty scary. We just stopped to fill up and we saw this Beyond Meat Jerky stuff. Never really had anything like this before, so I thought I thought I'd get it so that we could try it. <laughs> that is so bad. We crossed the state last night. We're so excited. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to bring that in for now? Just in case it does snow. Especially starting to drizzle a little bit. Yeah. The first few days were spent going to thrift stores and trying to find a few things for the kitchen. We were able to get pots for tea and jars for filling things, and we were able to get all of these secondhand for a much more discounted price. We also went to the zero waste shop and were able to find some things that we could refill, like laundry tabs and dishwasher powder, and it was really great to be able to see what Denver had to offer in terms of sustainable refills. It was quite expensive, so I hope that it lasts and the rest of the time was spent simply organizing our clothes, which remained on the floor for many days until we were able to find a secondhand dresser. Okay, I haven't really spoken to you since we actually got to Denver. Um, it's Tuesday today and we got here on Sunday afternoon. So realistically, it's only been about 48 hours. We only had yesterday off, so we had to work today because we only took one day off. So we tried to get as much done yesterday as possible. And that included getting a lot of secondhand things for the kitchen, like jars to hold things, because they're so cheap. We managed to get some for, you know, 49 cents. So it just really doesn't make sense to buy things new when you can buy things secondhand. And also they're so cheap and it's better for the planet. So we also got two camping chairs. These are doubling up as our desk chairs, our dining table chairs, and our sitting outside chairs. So they are doing a great job of doing that at the moment. We also got two desks yesterday. These were the two things that 
couldn't really wait. We've probably spent about four hours going around loads of different secondhand and antique shops and we literally just couldn't find a desk that would fit our space but also wasn't hugely expensive. It was just surprising. Either we couldn't find one in the kind of cheaper secondhand shops or the ones that we found in the antique shops and vintage shops were just so expensive and way too big for the space that we have. The space that we have is like 680 square feet. So the kitchen and dining area is like the biggest space. Then we have two bedrooms and a bathroom. One bedroom is gonna be where we work and one bedroom is gonna be where we are sleeping. We've been doing a lot of research on Facebook Marketplace. And again, we're going to more secondhand stores today to get a dining table and also a bed frame and a chest of drawers. Those are things that are like the most important things at the moment. Chest of drawers, bed frame, dining table. At the moment we're sleeping on our camping mats which is not comfortable so needless to say i'm very tired i feel very jet lagged because the time of the time even though we drove here okay no luck in finding a dining table or any of the big stuff but we finally managed to get some bowls and some plates and we got four bowls four plates and then two bigger bowls and a fruit bowl for 36 dollars which i think is pretty good from the Goodwill that's on Broadway. Okay, so we finally started to have a bit of luck with finding a chest of drawers and a side table for this room, the bedroom, and in the kitchen. Um, one, we're gonna go and look at on Saturday, but there's, I found a used furniture store that's huge in like Northern Denver. So we're actually gonna go and check that out now. There's a sideboard that I was looking at that I thought would look really cool if we painted it, so. Yeah, gonna go check it out now and we were able to get so many good things. We're able to get a chest of drawers, that little table for him, for his stuff. What else did we get? We managed to get a sofa secondhand as well and we managed to get two twin duvets secondhand. You might be thinking like, why do you want twins? But we actually don't like to share a blanket and having two blankets but are small actually works so much better for us and the place that we got it from is actually a not-for-profit. We also managed to get a toaster and we got one that's, it's not secondhand, but it's out of box. So they have to sell it and we got it for so much cheaper. And the same with a waiter blanket that I really wanted to get from Barabee. Barabee is all like sustainable and stuff like that and 100% cotton, but their weighted blankets are like $250. So I didn't want to buy that, but we managed to get this one a 15 pound one and it was half price so it was still a lot it's 130 dollars but considering our duvets were only 30 dollars each it's something that i've wanted for literally two years so i'm so pleased i was able to find one because i wasn't going to buy one i never thought i'd be able to find one second hand but being able to find this out of box so they were selling it half price i feel like we did really well today So we just picked up their bed from somewhere in outside Denver and we decided to go for a queen and I'm so glad that we did because if we hadn't, we probably would not have been able to get it into this room. So that was a great shout. I think we did pretty well. We got a lot of tips from people to go to like the suburbs because there are a lot of wealthy people out there who are always selling stuff. And we got this bed, it was $200, but originally I think it was 700. So we got a pretty good deal. We sort of have our mattress. Our mattress will be here in like maybe 10 days. So we're just gonna put our air bed on here and sleep on that for the rest of the time. Oh, it's gonna be so cozy in here. Before we say goodnight, actually, I just wanted to show you the setup because we have our air bed on top of our bed. <laughs> I've tried to make it look cozy. We also don't have side tables yet. So our lamps that we got today from that yard sale, they were $10 each. They are on the floor, but still makes it look cozy. Let me, uh, let me show you. So we got a chest of drawers from that place 
called The Other Side, and that's in North Denver. They're actually going to deliver that with the sofa that we bought secondhand on Tuesday. And the sofa is going to go in the room that we're going to both work in. And then the chest of drawers is going to go in our room. And we're also going to paint that. So we're going to paint that. We're going to paint the side table that we got. And we're also going to, we're going to sand the table that we got today, which was $75. So we got a round table with four chairs. We're going to sand it so it doesn't look so orange. I don't know why it looks orange, but it's in pretty good shape considering the guy said it wasn't, but we've made this place look very cozy so far and it's only going to get better. So we are just waiting for our sofa and our chest of drawers to be delivered that we got from the other side used furniture store. The stuff was too big for us to put in our car and also it was actually cheaper to pay them to deliver it than for us to rent a U-Haul. So we are just waiting for that now. We're so excited. It's gonna be so nice to be able to put our clothes away finally. We've just kind of been living in suitcases and putting things on the floor, which is not ideal. Okay, so our chest of drawers has arrived as has have our sofa. So this is the sofa that we got, just a really small one because we wanted it in, we wanted a sofa that we could sit on in the kind of room that we're working. And then, the chest of drawers was $100 and the sofa was $150. Both were secondhand from that used furniture store that I said called The Other Side. And they just came and dropped it off. It was a little bit of a squeeze to get the sofa in, but we got it in. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get a few blankets to go on the sofa and then try and create a more of a cozy atmosphere in that workroom. <laughs> 